Hi guys, this is the third video in a series about the Keys Arduino RFID Systems Learning Kit. This time I'm going to look at hooking up the LCD display to the UNO board. The display is a 16x2 device, which means it can display 16 columns by two rows of characters. The characters are alphanumeric, but you can create custom characters for basic graphics, bar graphs, that kind of thing. The display is the usual type with an HD44780 controller, and it also has an I2C backpack, which makes it easy to connect to the UNO. So the first thing we need to do is connect the LCD display to the UNO. To do that, I'm going to use some jump wires. The pins on the LCD display are labeled as ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL. The ground connection, we connect to the ground pin on the UNO. The VCC pin is the power input for the display and it operates on five volts. So we can connect this to the five volt output on the UNO. The SDA pin is the I squared C data and that is connected to pin A4 on the UNO. The SCL pin is the I squared C clock and that is connected to pin A5 on the UNO. This method of connection works fine for connecting a single I squared C device as long as the connection wires are quite short. If we were to make the connecting wires longer or add multiple devices, then we'll need to add some pull up resistors to the SDA and SCL lines. The next thing we need to do is install an Arduino library for the LCD display. I've used one by Francisco Malpartida called New Liquid Crystal and it's available to download from bitbucket.org. I'll put a link in the description and also a card which you can access by clicking the I symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once we've downloaded the library's zip file, then we run the Arduino IDE software. Select Sketch. Include Library. Add zip file and then select the zip file that we downloaded. As I hinted at earlier, I2C can support multiple devices. Each device has a 7 bit address to identify it. It's not always obvious what the address of the device is, but to find it, we can run an I2C scanner sketch. Again, I'll put a link in the description and a card. So we just need to compile and run the sketch, open the monitor window, and it will display the I2C address of the LCD display. So now that we know the I2C address of the LCD display and we've installed the library, we can try out a simple sketch. This prints hello world on the LCD display. The first line includes the wire library. The second line includes the liquid crystal I2C library that we installed earlier. The wire library is used by liquid crystal I2C to provide I2C communication with the backpack on the LCD display. The third line instantiates or creates an object called LCD with the parameters of the LCD display. The first parameter is the I2C address that we found with the I2C scanner sketch. The rest of the parameters are the pin assignments for the PCF8574T 8-bit I.O. expander chip on the I2C backpack. Different backpacks have different configurations, so if you're using a different one, then these parameters might need to be changed. Begin initializes the interface to the LCD display and specifies the screen width and height. Clear clears the LCD display and positions the cursor in the upper left corner and print prints to the LCD display. So let's compile that and see what happens. We can also try out the example that came with the new liquid crystal library. Just go into file, examples, new liquid crystal, and hello world I squared C. In this case, we just need to change the parameters in liquid crystal I squared C, so I'm just going to paste those in. Now we can compile the sketch and upload it. And it creates a little animation on the LCD display. There are some good examples that come with the original liquid crystal library. Let's have a look at the scroll example. In this case, we need to replace the liquid crystal library with the liquid crystal I squared C library.
and then change liquid crystal for liquid crystal I squared C. Compile and upload the sketch. And this time we get a scrolling hello world. Finally, if the LCD display is not working, check the wiring, make sure the I squared C scanner sketch can find the I squared C address of the device, try adjusting the contrast of the LCD display and check the LED jumper is in place. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, then please give it a like and check out some of my other videos. You can also be notified of new videos by clicking on the subscribe button. I'll put all the links in the video description and you can also find a card by clicking on the I symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.